Hey Thai girlies, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. In this video, we will be talking about the five ways to love on yourself. But before we get anything started, let's say our daily affirmations. Today affirmation will be, you are loved. You are loved. Don't ever forget that you are loved. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. You guys know that I've been preaching about self-love and self-care for a minute because self-love and self-care is my jam. Not only do I talk about locks and about bettering me and all the stuff that I've been through, I always talk to you guys about what the important it, the importance is of taking care of number one, you sis. So let's get into the video. This in no way is in any order of importance. This is just what you have to do. So one, I would schedule self-care sessions with myself. Just like you schedule appointments to get your hair done, your nails did, your um, sex appointment. <laughs> you should schedule self-care regimes with yourself. About two to three times a week, whether it's reading a book, taking a nice shower, go and get your nails done, whatever it is, sitting there listening to daily affirmations, whatever it is, take the time to do it for yourself. Whatever makes your heart smile, whatever makes your soul sing, whatever puts a smile on that precious face of yours, make an appointment every week to do that. Because we're so busy with all the things that go on in life that we forget number one. We forget and that we need to schedule, put it in a calendar or put it in your phone that the alarm comes up and you're like, aha, let me sit down and get this glass of wine and read my favorite book. Let me just take some time for myself, judge myself up a bit. Number two, self-reflect. This is a time where you need to sit down and ask yourself some hard questions, sis. Why am I here right now? Why am I keep in this situation? What is going on? You have to ask yourself these questions. Don't look for anybody else to ask you these things. Only you can answer these questions, fam. It's difficult, even if you have to write it down or you put on your voice memo, but it's good to ask yourself these questions so that you can like reread it or repeat it to yourself to understand where you came from now and then. Like say for instance, you say you sit down right here and you say, why do I keep getting myself mixed up with guys who are not ready for relationships? They basically just want to date or they just basically want friends with benefits. Why do I keep attracting those type of guys? Sit down and really think about that question. Why does this keep happening? Get to the ruta to the tuta. And then a year from now, go back and read that same question and see if you're still attracting that type of dude, fam. Number three is owning your truth. That goes to reflecting. Once you figure out why certain things keep happening in your life, own it, accept it, face the truth, face the parts that you have created and face the parts that ain't got nothing to do with you, but face it, don't run from it because all it's gonna do is happen again and take you away from your destiny on being happy and loving on you. It's okay, it will be okay, but the key is to work through it, not around it. She's a preacher, yo. Work through it not around it. Number four is exploring your interests. What makes you happy? What things do excite you? Stop doing the same things over and over again that are like, you notice that your life is pretty stagnant and you're trying to elevate, you're trying to make yourself happy from inside and out. Guitar lessons, going to the pool, day at the beach, whatever it is. Explore your interests, sipping paints, me, I like poetry jams. I like 
food class, cooking classes, I like to travel. I like all these things. Start doing these things that you like. Pique your interest and even explore things way outside of your comfort zone makes you happy. Like for instance, me, outside of my comfort zone is a dating app or like a app. So I went on Bumble and I thought Bumble was just an app that helped you find like a boyfriend or something. But no, there's a section for BFFs and there's a section for business. And I met my good friend Ivory on that. We just met like since I've been here. So, but I consider her a friend and she's down to earth and she's pretty cool. And this friendship is different from all my others because one, we both are busy. Two, we don't speak every single day. Most of the time we see each other on the weekends, which is good because what I told you guys before in my last video about friendships is I always have this um, expectation with friendships. And in this one, I had no expectations. I just said, look, we're gonna be friend. We're gonna be cool. We're gonna hang out. If we become friends after it, cool. If we don't, cool. There was no expectations there. But going back to what I said, exploring your interests and stepping out of your comfort zone, I would have never in a million years gone on Bumble to go do anything. That's just not my judge. But I went on it and I found. And look, I have a good friend named Ivory. And you know, you never know what can happen with that. I could find myself, I don't know. But that's what I'm saying, just explore. Explore, sis, explore. Do things that only a celebrity would do. You're probably like, Shay, what are you talking about? You see how celebrities just move like that? You see how celebrities just cut their hair on a whim? Or they do all these things just on a whim because they can do it and it's exciting and it brings joy to their life. Try to do that. Me, for instance, I moved. I got out of my comfort zone. This is something that I really wanted to do, but I was making all kinds of excuses to do it. I didn't have the money. I didn't have a job. I didn't want to be by myself. All this stuff is good in theory, but it was preventing me from becoming the woman that you guys can see I'm becoming. So I got up and I left. I left all that behind, I left my car, I left my ex, I left my grand, like not my grams, but I left all these people behind, all these things behind, and now I'm flourishing because I'm getting into my own and I'm noticing it's okay to take a step out on faith. It's okay, sis. It's okay. Love on yourself. You are a number one priority. I am loved. Come through with the knowledge. Damn it. Anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Put in the comment box below what things that you think will help you love on yourself and help you promote your self-care and your self-love journey, sis. Tell me. All right. See you later, Tiger Lilies. Two. Crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with the curb.